Hi everyone, Pastor Jacob here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, we're gonna to be learning about the Book of Lamentations. Then, we're gonna be looking at a craft for you and everyone in your house to do together. Lamentations is a pretty big word, but it's actually a really easy word to understand. The word lament means to show sadness. So Lamentations is a book of someone showing their sadness to God. This is a great book for all of us to be in because, well, maybe you're sad today because you're missing out on playing your favorite sport or being in your favorite class or missing out on just something you were excited about. Do you know what though? It's okay to be sad and it's okay to share our sadness with God. God doesn't wanna just be there for the happy times and he doesn't expect you to be happy all the time. God wants to be with you during the saddest of times and the hardest of times. He knows that you'll be sad, but he wants you to come and talk to him about that sadness. So right now, pause this video, and that's exactly what I want you to go do. I want you and whoever else is in the room with you to talk to God about what you're feeling right now. Take a few minutes just to tell God exactly how you're feeling, and then come back, and we're gonna get into our lesson and then look at a craft that we can all do at our home. All right, hopefully you've all stopped this video and spent time talking with God. Now, let's get into our lesson today. Today, we're in the book of Lamentations. You can see it spelled out right behind me. So let's get our Bibles and find where Lamentations is at in the Bible. Lamentations is a small book that's in the Old Testament. It comes right in between two bigger books. So if you find the book of Jeremiah, you need to just keep turning. You're almost there. But if you find the book of Ezekiel, then you've gone just a little bit too far. So you need to backtrack a little bit. Remember to look at the top corners of your Bible to see where you're at at all times. So pause this video if you need to. Ask someone in the room to help you find Lamentations. All right, I hope you found the book of Lamentations. After you find the book, now it's time to find the chapter and the verse. So now we need to find the big number three, and then, after you found the big number three, we need to find a small 22. The big number is our chapter number, and the little numbers are our verse number. So that means we're finding Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. Lamentations was written by Jeremiah. We've learned about him the past couple of Sundays. Jeremiah lived in the city of Jerusalem. Jeremiah loved Jerusalem but he was sad when armies fought in Jerusalem and destroyed the city. Jeremiah cried about the temple that burned down. The whole city was in ruins. Jeremiah wrote some poems about Jerusalem. The poems describe the things that had been done to the city to ruin it. These poems are the book of Lamentations. Jeremiah said Jerusalem was once crowded with people, but now the people were gone. The people living in the city had been hurt, or to be even taken away. No one sat at the gates. No one went to the festivals that God had commanded. Everything good about Jerusalem was gone. Jeremiah cried because of these things. He said, God, my heart is broken. Jeremiah knew God's people had not obeyed God and followed his laws. Jeremiah knew Jerusalem had been destroyed because of the people. But Jeremiah also knew that God loved his people. God's love never ends. God is always good, said Jeremiah. Let us pray to God and ask him to forgive us. Our memory verse this month comes out of the book of Lamentations. Our memory verse is the verse that I asked you all to find earlier. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23 says, for his mercies never end. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Even in the middle of watching the city he loved get ruined, Jeremiah knew that God would never stop loving and caring for his people. Jeremiah continued to praise God even during the saddest of times. All right, now I want to show you a craft that you and everyone in your house can do. It's called a God is Good book. You see, I have my God is Good book right here. This is a book that you all can make to remind you of all the wonderful things God has done for you and remind us of all the wonderful things God has made. If you see in my book, 
I have a picture of my family. I'm not a very good artist. But you have me, you have Miss Emily, my wife, you have our oldest daughter, Naomi, our new baby, Mary. She's crawling in this picture, but she can't crawl yet. She's only two weeks old. And then you have one of our puppies, Sailor. I also drew a picture of a cross to always remind me what Jesus did for me. You see on my next page, I drew some mountains and I drew a forest. I love being in God's creation and I love the mountains. They're one of my favorite places to be. So I wanted to draw some to always remind me of just how beautiful God's creation is. You can fill yours with whatever you want. You can draw pictures, you can paint in it, you can print pictures out and stick them in here. Whatever you wanna do, just fill it with stuff that reminds you of how good God is. You can see right here on the front of my book, I put, for his mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. That's our memory verse. I wanted to put it here to help me remember it and to always remember that God is faithful. All right, to make your book, it's super easy. You'll fold it once, and then you'll fold it one more time, just like that. So you're folding it hamburger style twice. After you fold it twice, you'll open it back up just one time and staple it right there in the, on where you folded it. You'll fold it back closed, take your scissors, and then trim off where the paper is folded right there. After you do that, you'll be left with a book just like this one that you can flip open and go to all the different pages. I hope you all have a great time making your books together and everyone has a great day. Parents, be on the lookout for the Explore the Bible at Home Guide and an activity page that can be printed in the link below. Bye!